Hello, people of the internet. It's Mr. B once again. I'd like to welcome you back to Roll for Run. Uh, when we last did our little roll here, we got an 18 again and did Dodrio. So that was nice. Not too bad. A fairly simple challenge except for Lorelei. But now you see there's no room to write there. So there's a mysterious symbol. But I'm sure anyone who can read that can understand the Pokemon. But let's see what we can get today. I'm hoping maybe a little on the lower end. I want to get a non-evolving Pokemon so I can reduce this list to 12. But we'll have to see. Either way, I have the dice for today, the Fool's Gold. Let's see what we can luck into. Roll for run. Ten! Yeah, that's right, ten. Which means... Yep. Time for Kongus Kong. Let's do it. Hello, people of the internet! This is Mr. B once again, and I'd like to welcome you back to the One Sitting Challenge. Um, the Dice Gods have spoken once again. We have our new starter to pick from. We have Mama. Now, Mama, of course, is Kongus Kong, a Pokemon known for its, well, fairly decent attack and health, and even has some good speed to it. But, um, it looks like Special is kind of a dump stat. And, I mean, other than that, it's pretty good. I mean, she got a total of 410, 105 HP, 95 attack, 80 defense, 90 speed. It's only 40 specials, the thing. But as you can see here, she starts with Comp Punch and Rage, so this could be interesting. Uh, we started as Charmander because I think um, Squirtle would be more of a challenge with its higher defense and um, Kong's Kong being a physical fighter. And also, just so you know, she's probably going to level up fairly often. She is part of the medium-fast group. So at least, I want to say, I'm not sure if it's early game or late game, but she's going to start leveling up fast at some point. But right now, we're just going to use a Comet Punch. Two. Three. Yeah, as you can see, Comet Punch is just like any of the other multi-attack moves. Uh, Fury Attack. Um... Why am I flaking out on this? Clamp, stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know what- no, it's not even clamp, it's furry attack, um... Fairy swipes, that's the word. I, I don't know, my, my brain was not- did not want to complete, but either way, we're doing Kongus Kong today, which makes me very happy because this means I can actually stop using the D20s and start using the D12. But, heck, even that's gonna go by super quick, because then we have our D10, so... Uh, we're starting to run out of non-evolving Pokemon. It's wonderful. Now, am I going to stop once I'm done with all the non-evolving Pokemon? I honestly don't know, because I honestly do have a lot of fun in doing this, because I get very nostalgic about these games. And the fact that Mom is starting to watch these two is wonderful, because, uh, let's be honest, I started the family into Pokemon, but she followed fairly quickly. I had red, she had blue... So, it, it's, it's nice to have those old happy feelings back, ain't it? So, um, how do I feel about Brock? Uh, not too bad. Honestly, with, um, Comet Punch, it probably isn't going to be too much of an issue. But even, even if it's not Comet Punch that I'm going to use, Rage, surprisingly, has a very decent use because, um... I mean, his Pokémon aren't that physically strong, and they only have Tackle and Bide, really. With Rage, my attack could consistently increase. Like, of course, I have to take damage, but it it, it could have a, a decent effect on it. So I think uh, Brock isn't going to be too hard. I mean, it might be first try, but uh, just in case, I am going to fight all of the Bug Catchers just to give me that little edge, because I'm still a normal Pokemon using normal moves, so it could take a while, is the thing. And it does seem I am possibly leveling up slower at the beginning. I mean, I'm not too sure, but I don't know. Is that normal fight usually um, give you a level up? Because I feel like it's supposed to, but I'm not sure. Also, you see, Rage is doing its job, but unfortunately I got poisoned, so that sucks a little bit. Luckily, there's an antidote right here, and I have a potion, too. And come to think of it, with Mama's, like, 105 HP stat, she has a bunch of HP already, and she's barely leveled up at all. I mean, three levels, and she's almost at 40, so... She's a bulky girl, I'm gonna enjoy her. And, uh... 
surprisingly, she has a humongous move set that puts some of the other people that I've used to shame, not just special, but physical as well. She can use Earthquake. Do you know how happy I am about that fact? She can use Earthquake and Body Slam, but she can also use things like Ice Beam and Fire Blast and Bubble Beam. She, she, the, the sky's the limit for her. Now, of course, her special sucks, so it's not like I want to use, uh, like, Thunderbolt and stuff like that, but that's going to give me some early game options. Late game, of course, I'm going to push hard into the physical aspect, but, I mean, early game, Water Gun, Thunder, like, uh, Bubble Beam, Thunderbolt, all that nasty, naughty stuff you're going to get near the beginning, it's going to do us some wonders. Unfortunately, though, we are going to be stuck with uh, Comet Punch and Rage for a little while at least, because um, she ain't going to get another move to level 26, and that's Bite. So, unfortunately, it's not until after Brock that we're going to be able to um, get a another move, but hopefully we'll be fine. But right now, let's just spend all of our money. I'm going to fight the Junior Trainer as well, just in case... Because, what, I'm not even at... Am I at 10 yet? I don't think so. I'm not at 10, I'm at 8. So I want to get to at least 10 before I take on Brock. Because she's bulky, but... You know... If they're, they're, they're doubly resisting normal moves, I really don't want to do that. Or half resisting, I'm sorry. They double resist poison, but either way. I want to have that just extra little goodness to it, you know? And as you can see, Diglett cannot take combat punches... And even Sandshrew is not doing a good time. God, I'm going to use Rage. Oh! Sand attack took me out. Okay. That's fair. It was bound to happen. So I'm I'm not too shocked. I'll just stick with Comet Punch, I guess. But it does have low accuracy, though. Or I'm going to use Rage and... Can you please... No. Okay, to be fair, I did have that, but... Sand attack is making it somewhat of an issue, but using Rage on Diglett, my attack will increase a bit before he gets his sand attacks off, so never mind. Let's try that one more time, and here's hoping. Because if it's not kind to me. Yeah, no. Okay, no, I think we're gonna have to actually level up. I was hoping I didn't have to do this so early, but if I can't beat the Junior Trainer, there's no way in heck I'm going to beat Brock. I mean, he's he's got all that nasty resistance, that high defense, and yeah, I, I like I said, I only have Comp Punch, which is only an accuracy of 85, and Rage, which only has a power of 20. It increases your attack, yes, but its attack power is only 20, people. Come on. I just want to get a little bit stronger just to make this a little more doable. Come on. I just want one more level, please. Or you know what? I might be at the I might be at a good point right now. Oh, never mind. I was going to say I was probably about to level up and I was very very right. So, let's uh heal up here and let's try that junior trainer now that we are slightly strong. I think, I think it's going to give us a little bit of a better time. I mean, we're at 24 minutes in-game. It's not too bad. And honestly, once we get past here, really with the Kongus Kongs typing... Well, not typing, their stats and coverage, I don't really see much stopping us. I mean, heck, even Agatha, who's normally a problem with 90 base speed and Earthquake, it's a joke. I don't really think that's going to be any sort of an issue. I mean, I'm looking at the moves list. There's no way I'm going to get a badge boost, which is unfortunate. But I don't need one. I mean, at this point, if they want to, like, lower my statistics, they could do that. But I'm actually fairly good right now with what I have. Can you please stop using Sand Attack? I'm only losing because of Sand Attack. That, does, that shouldn't even count. Like, honestly, that's just not fair, because what, what are you going to do if he just sands attacks me five times in a row? I'm not going to be able to hit anything. There! See, that's how it should have gone. 
Now I'm just gonna use a potion because there's no need to uh, go back. I mean, I used rage. That was one power point, so... Yeah, let's give Brock a try. Um, I'm hoping. Let's see here. I mean, with 90 base speed, I also have, like, what? An 18% chance to crit, because in Gen 1, your crit is based on your base speed. So, it, I, I'm, I'm feeling good. Let's do Comet Punch and see how that works. Mm, I mean, hitting four times does about a quarter, which isn't bad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm speeding this up because it is just me doing the same move over and over again. But as you can see, I'm slowly pushing through Geodude. The only problem is he increases his defense stat. Now, Onyx, do I outspeed? Let's find out. Comet Punch, I outspeed. Because uh, Onyx has a base speed of 70. So yeah, he's a little slower. And um, no one in Gen 1 has... Um, stat experience points except me because uh, that's how they brown ground them so I'm just gonna use rage rage is gonna do less damage I think okay two three so it's a three turn rate bide and that did about eight damage so now my attack is increased maybe he could do a tackle and just make me a little stronger Mm, critical did not help. It's just... Yeah, no. Let's just see, because it's just going to be rage over and over again. Will it... Will it power through? No. It almost did, though. So, uh, I'm not discounting it, but... I'm thinking what I need to do, actually, is just start the fight with rage, and... Uh, Geodude tackling me will increase my attack power before I even get to Onyx, which might make it a better chance to uh, beat Onyx with a fully powered Pokemon. Who knows? Unfortunately, I don't seem to have the stamina. Yeah, no, I'm doing a lot of damage, but Geodude was hurting me too much. So it's kind of got to be a mix of Geodude not attacking me too much. Yeah, I'm going to use Comet Punch, actually. I'm going to weaken him, so the fa the fight with Geodude is faster. And then I will use Rage when he's in knockout, like, close to knockout range, just to make the fight a little bit faster so I'm not going to take that much damage. Let's see. Will you tackle me? Okay, you tackle me once. Okay. Now we've got that in. Let's see what happens. It's just watching the life bar slowly move. Come on. Nope. Okay. So that's tell- Ugh. That was an accident. I'm sorry. I was gonna say maybe one more level, but no, we're gonna fight again, I guess. Hopefully I get some crits, though, because crits are gonna ignore the um, defense bonuses, so that will help out. And if a uh, multi-attack move crits the first one, the whole thing crits, so can't go wrong with it. Hmm. No, it ain't working. I mean, there's possibilities, but not right now. I'm thinking we're gonna have to just level up a teeny little bit. If anything, what I'm going to do is just uh, fight a few Pokemon here. I mean, with Rage, I don't really have to do anything. And Comet Punch, I mean, if I get lucky, I can take out a, a Pokemon with uh, one combo, so... I'm just going to beat up with you a little bit. I'm going to even attack the Weedles, because the Weedles at least have a decent attack stat. So that's going to give me a little more power to push through. If I can just make the damage I do one point more, that could mean the whole world. Because you saw how close I got a couple of times. So it, it, it's just all luck of the dice here. We're going to have to see if... Uh, I'm going to say one more level. If, if that's going to make the difference between life or death. Let's just rage and rage. Thank you. Come on. We're almost done. Because I, I think once we're past this, uh, all the hard times are indeed over. Because I'm going to get Water Gun and Mount Moon. So no rock Pokemon is going to mess with me. And then after that, Bubble Beam. So Kongus Kong is going to get rid of any like serious issues right off the bat 
with fighting Pokemon, it doesn't matter too much. I'm gonna have Stab Body Slam. I mean, I could also get Mega Punch, but I don't think I need it. I mean, it would be a little out of the way, too. Hmm. Well, maybe for Misty. That is something to consider. We'll see after Brock, of course, but maybe I'll grab Mega Punch on the way. First of all, let's see here. 39 minutes in game. 14 real life. All right, let's give this another shot. Let's see how much we do. Two levels with an attack as high as mine. Mm, it is noticeable. Or maybe not. <laughs> with all those defense curls, who cares, right? The crit worked very nice, though. Come on, just keep critting for me. I'm gonna just keep using Comic Punch because there is a thing with uh, multi-hit moves and Bide where it only counts the like first hit, I want to say, so it's gonna do less damage to me if I just use Comic Punch as long as I can. After that, if I'm out, I'll use Rage because, yeah, it's only got 15 PP anyway. And I hit 5! But there we go. There's Bide. Let's see what happens. 2... One, two, three, and one, two. Okay, I have 39. That did six damage. It seems like they were correct. There is kind of a glitch with it. But now I have to use Rage because I have nothing else. And that was all I needed. And I'm level 14 now. Look at that attack. 35 attack, 32 defense, 34 speed. Beautiful Pokemon. Kind of like using Dodrio. A little slower, a little weaker, but you know what? The coverage is amazing, and I don't care. Like, the mere fact that I can basically use almost any type in the game means the world to me. So, let's just save right here, just in case something dumb happens, because it's me, it's always possible. And, um, let's get to Mount Moon. We all know the we all know the path, so I'm not gonna fight any extra Pokemon. I'm just going to use a uh, well, yeah. Basically, I'm gonna use Rage to auto kill him, basically. Or I can use Comp Punch. Yeah, I can use Comp Punch. It doesn't matter really. There is a Pokemon Center like right up the way, so we'll get it in a second. And I know I uh, missed uh, getting uh, Pidgey. That's fine. There's literally a Spearow right here, so there's nothing to worry about. Plus, Pidgeys are everywhere. I don't need it right this second, but I can get it at any time. Let's just Rage. Boop. Done. There. Alright. Let's get a Boyd. There! Even a Pidgey, right there. Let's throw a Pokeball and see what happens. Nope. Okay, let's try Comet Punch. Nope. <laughs> let's try Comet Punch again. Nope. Mama's too strong. Okay, let's just try a Pokeball. Nope. Nope. Nope, and I'm going to reset, because that's actually annoying. I'm going to save before I try that, because that was using too much of my stuff already. That's kind of nuts. Eh, but Comet Punch is still doing its job, as long as it doesn't miss twice in a row. I mean, I get it does have a 15% chance to miss, but missing two times in a row is still kind of a uh, bad lucky. There we go. Get him out of the way. Yeah, just Rage. At least Rage has 100% accuracy. There. And plus, it's saving me PP anyway, so who cares? There. And now this guy with his uh, Caterpie and Metapod. And me gaining Rage Strength. Alright. I'm gonna save right here. And um, we're not gonna waste Pokeballs this time. I think Spearow is easier to catch, though. There we go. Let's try Spearow. Really? There we go. At least I caught him. Now I have two balls left for Paris, but I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. I'm about to get Water Gun, and my special attack is abysmal. So let's do this. We're going through Mount Moon. Uh, if anything, I might hit a few Geodudes with Water Gun when I do see them, but... Otherwise, this is just going to make rock men disappear. For example. Yeah, even with a even with a special of 40, it don't matter too much. Times 4, it's it's going to take out any kind of geo dude, especially with their crappy special. All right. Enough of the Zubats though. I don't want to play with you right now. 
Maybe one day I'll do a run with Crobat. I don't know with what generation, but still. Crobat is my favorite. Zubat is terrible. Please stop. Okay. Please stop. And about leveling up or stuff, I don't even have to worry anymore. Once we're past Brock, all is golden. I forgot Mega Punch. I don't need it. <laughs> uh... Uh, yeah, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't... I need it. Psst. Ugh. That was immediate regret that I completely forgot to get that, because it would... The time it would take to go back would waste too much time in my heart, and I... No. I couldn't do it. My soul would not allow me to. Oh, and we caught Spiro the first one this time. But yeah, um... I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm kind of wasting time here, but not getting Mega Punch is actually upsetting me. Because that's 80 base power, and I mean, it's not perfect accuracy, but it's nothing to laugh at right now. And I'm going to need that to beat Misty. Like, I could use Comet Punch, but that sounds so annoying that I do not want to do that. So, I'm... Uh, I'm distracted. But now I'm asleep. There. Okay. I don't know if that just ruined all the time I was trying to save by resetting, but it don't matter. I'm just gonna grab this stuff. Gonna run away from all the Zubats. And we're going to actually take the proper stairs I need to take to get Mega Punch, which should be this one. Because there's... Yeah. This right next to Rocket. I don't even need to fight anyone. Just can use it. Mega Punch. There we go. Now, Mama actually kind of has her signature move. I mean, she also gets Dizzy Punch, but in this generation, it doesn't confuse, so who cares, right? And it's weaker than Mega Punch anyway. Like, slightly weaker. It's 70 instead of 80. However, like, 100% accuracy, but, you know, there's Body Slam. And... Mama can definitely use Body Slam, so it don't matter. <laughs> also, where's the Paris now? I'm not worried about the rocket. I'm gonna just use Mega Punch and Mega Punch. There you go. That's the power of Mega Punch. I'm gonna save, though, because I... Yeah. I'm not doing that again. An hour and two minutes, and we're about to leave Mount Moon. We just need to battle this guy and get a Paris, of course. Uh, Grimer, Mega Punch... Not quite a one hit, but Comp Punch will help. Mega Punch and Mega Punch. There we go. Beautiful. Yes, I'll take the Helix Fossil because I don't care. Give me a Paris, please. Not a Geodude. I want a Paris. I'm not even going to beat up the Geodudes because I don't need the levels. Just give me a Paris. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, this is going to take so much time, isn't it? No, don't want Geodude. Don't want Geodude. Want Paris. I want the bug grass Pokemon. Do not want Clefairy, who is rarer than Paris, by the way. Come on. Please. Please. There he is. Alright, Pokeball go. Pokeball go. Beautiful. Now we don't have to waste any more time. Those are the only two Pokemon that we need to ca catch, as you are well aware. Our Surfer is Lapras, which we get for free, so welcome to Cerulean. I'm going to get the Rare Candy real quick, and then I'm thinking what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take on Misty first. I know I'm kind of low level, but my consideration is I have Mega Punch, and I have decent speed. I might be able to outspeed Starmie, and if I can do, maybe one, possibly two Mega Punches will do it. And then I'll have Bubble Beam to use on uh, Let's Bab. Let's Bab. Yes, I named them Let's Bab because Kong is Kong is a mama. All right, Mega Punch on the Goldeen. Hmm. <sighs> if this is any indicator, we're looking about half for. Maybe the star you? I don't know about the star me. I mean, I wouldn't say Golding is a defensive Pokemon, but still, that's that's what I'm going to take out of that fight. But yeah, 1 hour and 12 minutes in game, 23 minutes real time, let's take on Misty. 
All right, now I don't need to slow, speed it up because there's actually strategy involved. Mega Punch? I think I crit. Yeah, I crit. Like I said, with a 90 speed, that's like an 18% chance to crit on a move. All right, Starmie, do I outspeed? Uh, she used X defense, so I don't know. I think I think I don't outspeed because, yeah, I think the trainer uses the item like at the same speed as the Pokemon does. So, yeah. And with X speed, we're looking at maybe 30%. Ooh, and a crit on Water Gun is not going to help, but it's fine. It's not the worst thing. Let's see how much Mega Punch is going to do to Star you now that we don't crit. That was almost a one-hit KO, which really, really is uh, giving me good vibes here. I should have just used Comet Punch there. All right, let's try Mega Punch on S Bubble Beam. Fun. Ooh, that is nasty. And I'm still slower, and I missed because, of course, Mega Punch has 85% accuracy. Can you please crit? I do not crit, and that does about a third. She did a tackle for seven. Can I crit this time? I did, but that wasn't enough. Uh, Rage. No, Bubble Beam. Okay. I'm going to give her one more shot. If not, I might beat up her toady that's underneath her. Because we are looking at... Yeah, you can see that. That is on the cusp of instant kill. There you go. And I just have to hope for good luck with Starmie. Starmie uses, like, Tackle or Water Gun. Do not use Exafen. Bubble Beam is not appreciated, because... Oh my... Okay, you didn't even crit. It was just that nasty. Okay. Now that looks like 40%. Tackle did about 8. Keep doing Tackle. Or give me a crit. Nope. Ooh! Ooh! Maybe this will work! Don't miss! And we missed. Okay, I'm gonna beat up her toady. If, if I, I'm, I'm hoping one more level will give me the physical strength I need to get through this, because, yeah, this is getting a little annoying. And that didn't even level me up, which sucks. Um, okay, we're gonna do Let's Nom, then. I mean, Let's Bob. Let's Bab. I, I literally walked in on Mom watching the Tangela run, so Let's Nom is in my head, but no, it's Let's Bab today. And, of course, he's going to start with his Pidgeotto, which, well, just don't sand attack us, please. Maybe we can one-hit KO with Mega Punch. Okay, quick attack does about nine. Mega Punch missed, but Mama outspeeds. Uh, not quite a one-hit, but she's, like, he's still not using uh, sand attack, and that's all I can thankful for. They got a bunch of hits off, but that's fine. Sand attack is the real killer. So there we go. Now I'm level 19. Abra is literally free. Just use Comp Punch. Wow, I almost beat him with the first hit. Okay, Rattata. They have really no defense to speak of, so make a punch. One hit KO. Beautiful. Now, um, Squirtle might be a little rough because of his defense, but let's find out. Make a punch. Um, not a crit, and I almost one-hit KO'd him, so I think we're good. I'm just gonna use Rage because I won't miss that. And there you go! Actually, Let's Bab was the easier choice. Um, what can you do, though? We're just gonna have to give it another try. I'm not gonna go up the, uh, Nugget Road because I really do want Bubble Beam. I want a third attack because I want the PP, basically. So, let's see. Uh, Misty, second try after a little bit of leveling. One hour, 17 minutes in game, 28 real life. Let's try this again. Hopefully, Mega Punch will take out Star in one. Let's find out. Mega Punch. And there, well, I critted, so there's no way to tell. And that gives me a level up, so this is looking good. 48 attack, 48 speed. Do I outspeed now? Let's see, Mega Punch. I still don't, but she started with a tackle. She critted, but I'm not complaining. And Mega Punch is looking about just less than half, like 48%. But that's fine. Mega Punch. She also tackled me again, but not a big deal. Let's do Rage, because I don't want to miss. Bubble Beam, please don't critical. Okay. Rage. Star me down! Misty is down, people. 
which means now I have access to Bubble Beam, which means I don't even need to go to the Pokemon Center, actually. I can get rid of Rage, because Rage kind of sucks, and uh, just use a few potions. And there, I think I can handle Nugget Bridge, as is. I mean, there's nothing they're going to really be able to do to me, so let's see. Um, first is a Bug Catcher, so just Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam is not a one-hit KO, that's fine. Mega Punch is a one-hit KO. Now, second one is a Pidgey, I'm still just going to use Mega Punch, and uh, more Mega Punch. Yeah, as long as we land our Mega Punches, that's our main concern. I'll use Bubble Beam on the um, Hikers or anyone who uses like a Ground or Rock type. We'll have to see. But, like, this whole group is just going to be Mega Punch. As long as I don't miss too many, I think I have the PP for all of them. Mankey, I'm actually going to do Bubble Beam because he's got lower special, though. That did not do as much as I thought it would. Uh, let's just do Mega Punch. There we go. Now, the Rocket member, he's going to, you know, beg us to join and stuff. We're going to say no, and then I'm going to Mega Punch him into Oblivion. And there we go. Alright, so yeah, we're going to take on this hiker first because of course I want my elixirs, so Bubble Beam. This is about less than half, but the Geodude isn't going to stand a chance. I'm going to use some more potions because we're still doing good. And I'll get through this. And now I'm thinking... I don't need Seismic Toss, so I don't need to bring the kid down. I can take on the hiker and that would probably be a little better for me. So let's do this. Bubble Beam, Geodude's a one-hit KO, Bubble Beam, Geodude's a one-hit KO, Bubble Beam, two-hit KO for the Machop, and one-hit KO for the Geodude. Now we just have to deal with the girl, and I mean, I do have just one Mega Punch, but I think Comet Punch, yep, Comet Punch, two hits, three hits, she's going down, not a big deal. Let's take care of uh, Bill's personal issue of being half Pokemon. Okay. And we have the SS ticket. Now, uh, many of you may be asking, we're about to give the t get the t dig TM. I don't know why I was having issues using that. Um, am I going to give it to Kongus Kong? No, unfortunately, Kongus Kong cannot learn the dig TM, so uh, we are not going to have a ground move yet. But for Surge, I don't think one's necessary. I mean, we're going to get Body Slam before we get Surge, so I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. If anything, um, I don't really see any hard stop in the near future. Like, even with dealing with, like, Giovanni and stuff, I have Bubble Beam. And while, yes, uh, his Pokemon are fairly tough, like, a Rhyhorn and an Onix ain't gonna take on a Bubble Beam any time of day. Also, I realized I did not buy a Repel. That is my fault, but it seems it doesn't matter. And we're just going to keep using our Comet Punches for as long as we can. We're going to save the good punches for our rival. And then um, I will use Body Slam on Surge. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to actually visit the Mart because I meant to do it in Cerulean. I wasn't thinking. I'm going to... Mm. What's TM28? Is that... Oh, that's Dig. What's wrong with me? Teach that to Paris. My brain turned off for a second. I apologize. Uh, we're just gonna sell the Nugget and Bide, I think. So, Bide, Bye Bye, and... The Nugget, and now that I think about it, the Pokeballs too, because, well, not catching anyone else. And, um, I'm going to get... Ten. Ten repels, because, um, then we're gonna get, like, Super or Max, so... I think that'll be good, and a whole bunch of super potions. Very nice. Let's get moving. Um, SSM, first thing. I don't see any issues. Okay. Now, of course, we're gonna get Body Slam because, well, only an idiot wouldn't get it. And um, Mega Punch, and that's beautiful. So, there's no need to save this guy. I'm just going to swap out Comet Punch because I. I don't need a move that is a multi-hit with a lower accuracy when I can just have Body Slam. And I can keep Mega Punch just to deal some extra damage. And, I mean, even if I hit 5, Mega Punch is debatably better. So, 
I'm going to keep me Mega Punch for the near future. Also, uh, hour 43 minutes uh, in game, 33 minutes in uh, real time. We're going to face Let's Bab uh, number three. But yeah, um, I'm thinking we're going to keep Mega Punch until at least we get a decent uh, stab move. Um, Water Gun, we're going to lose first, of course. I'm probably going to teach either Thunderbolt or Ice Beam. And then that's going to basically hold us over until we can get, like, Earthquake and such. But, yeah, as far as um, this battle, not a big concern. It seems to be, like, one Mega Punch apiece. Now, to be fair, that was a crit on Raticate, so that might have not mattered. Kadabra, I'm not going to take the risk. I'm going to use Body Slam just to make sure I hit. And, um, as far as War Turtle's concerned, yeah, let's just do a Body Slam. But yeah, our skill set is going to be much better once we reach Celadon, because we're going to have access to Ice Beam, we're going to have access to Rock Slide, which she can use, and, oh, we have Bite. I'm actually going to swap out Mega Punch, yeah. Let's swap out Mega Punch for Bite because it is slightly weaker. I think it's, what, 60 in this generation? But there is the flinch chance, and Mama's actually a fairly fast Pokemon, so. Very nice. Let's bad. First try. Uh, give me the HM for cut, please. And uh, now we can take on Surge. If anything, let's just uh, potion up a little bit. Beautiful. I don't think we're going to need full health for Surge, not with Body Slam and our speed. Especially since Voltorb and Pikachu ain't surviving one hit. Raichu, sure, but Voltorb and Pikachu, not a chance in heck. So let's give it a shot. Cut. Thank you. And uh, here's where the annoying stuff begins. Let me just save. Alright, let's save. Nope. 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 It can never be on the bottom, can it? I would love it to, but that'd be too nice to me. Okay. Maybe. Ugh. How about the bottom now that it's reset? Nope. Of course, they're going to put it in the spots that are have trainers right in the way. Okay. Please be the second one. Thank you. Alright, so now we're at Surge. We're looking at uh, 1 hour, 50 minutes in-game time. 36 minutes real time. Let's see how we do against the good lieutenant. Um, this should be fairly simple. We're going to start with Body Slam on Voltorb and... Yep, that's just one hit KO. Nothing we can do about that. Uh, Pikachu, let's try it again. Oh, Pikachu got a quick attack off, but that only did six with a crit. And Pikachu's down one hit last projected. Now Raichu, let's see, Body Slam. We might get a crit chance, not a crit chance, a paralysis, which we did. Electric Pokemon can be paralyzed in Gen 1, but only by uh, Body Slam or, like, Sunspore. Thunderbolt hit bad, but there you go. Body Slam won the day. Now I think we're good. If anything, I'm going to use uh, TM24 Thunderbolt. Uh, just because uh, in Rock Tunnel we are going to have to deal with uh, slow pokes, so that'll just make things a little faster, hopefully. I mean, if not, I can always just use Body Slam, but... Yeah, it's going to give us a little variety for now. I'm totally going to get rid of it. Because uh, Earthquake is just better for Kongus Kong. But we're not going to have Earthquake yet. So we, we're going to have to wait a minute. But let's dig out of here. We're back in Cerulean. Don't forget the bike. I always do. But there you go. And now uh, we're just going to heal up again. And we're on the road to Rock Tunnel. Now, today's going to be a unique day because I am not opening the guidebook this time. I am just going to guess I know which way I'm going. Which is entirely possible. I've done it enough times, and it's about time to stand up on my own, correct? And uh, while I'm casually this person, beating this person by spam being body slam, I mean, I don't see any issues. Even the uh, self-destruct hiker 
I mean, I've got Bubble Beam. They've got Pathetic Special. I mean, my special's Pathetic too, but it's quad weakness, so not too concerned. But, yep, we're at Rock Tunnel now, so let's see if I can actually move with the skill that 15 runs at this point can give you. So first I'm going to save. Thank you. And then we're going to get the repel going. Let's move it to the top. Nope. That is... Nope. You hit the select button twice. There. That's, that's a super potion. I... I am not good with menus. Either way, we're going to go this way. There's the dude with the Q-bone and the um, Slowpoke. So let's see. Bubble Beam does more than half. And that's all that we can hope for. And he doesn't hit. And Slowpoke Thunderbolt does about... 75? 80%? Either way, it did a lot, and that was the point. I mean, would it have done more than, um... Like, Mega Punch? Well, I mean, Body Slam? Let's see. Body Slam on Slowpoke. Actually does more than, slow than Body Slam on Slowpoke, so there's your answer right there. Stick to the wall. I'm not even, f I'm not even glancing at the guidebook. It's still there for emotional support, but it's honestly not open to the map, which I usually do have it, so. There we go. I don't even have my uh, guide to where all the uh, ethers and elixirs are. I don't think I need them. <laughs> at least I don't need that many. What I can find naturally, I think that's all I need. I don't need the PP ups either. And we're already here to the hiker. We just have to get past the girl. After a my repel wears off again. There you go. We're past the girl. We're at the hiker. I'm going to save right here. I don't expect anything bad, but you know, weird, weirder things have happened. I mean, I outspeed and I have a quad effective move, so yeah, that's about what you expect. One hit KOs for each of them with bubble beam, but I wanted to be sure. But this should be the last fight, and I'm just going to spam body slam, because yeah, what are they going to do to me? Slightly annoy me. And there we go. We're out of a uh, rock tunnel. I did not look at the book once, and I'm very proud of myself for that. And um, let's stop in Lavender. Just heal up so we can get our PP up again. And we're going to continue on, because as always, you do not want to be in Lavender Town. Not yet, anyway. We want to get through Celadon first. And I'm still not sure which way is faster, so I'm just going to slow down, not speed up when I'm going through the menu, and just go through this way. Because I could accidentally touch a trainer. It, I totally see myself doing that. So I'm just going to do it that way for now. At least until I'm more confident. Which I may never be, but who knows. Either way, let's see if we can find the elixir. Thank you. And now we're in Celadon. So what are we going to do? Well, first and foremost, I'm going to go into the Pokemon Center real quick. Thank you. And uh, we're going to deal with rockets. Because might as well, they're the first in the way. And, I mean, with Body Slam, as you can see here, I'm almost 10 levels higher than these guys, so they really don't have a shot. And I don't even have to worry about doing things like um, setting up or anything like that. I don't have to worry about watching my PP. I just hit so hard that... Oh, God, I didn't mean to activate you! I'm gonna knock him out anyway, but I don't need Double Edge. I was about to say, I don't need to worry about getting Double Edge! But I am going to get the rare candy, though. And, um... The nugget, but that'll be a minute from now. Let's just get through this. Grab our little nutrients. HP up, which I will appreciate with my max HP. And, you know what? No, I'm not going to use PP yet. There's better, there's better moves to use the PP up on. But let's just take care of this guy. Body Slam coughing down and Zubat down. Did not stand a single chance. Now, let us go and get a wonderful nugget. Why do I always grab the nuggets? Because we need the money, kids. I mean, I don't always buy vitamins, but if the Pokemon needs that, I will get it. Luckily, Kongus Kong doesn't seem the type, so I think we lucked out on this. Which makes me think, how are we going to do when we get someone like Tauros, who is on the same vein, but... You know, slightly different mix of stats. Either, we'll find out eventually, but right now we're going to bubble beam some sand shrews. 
Body Slam and Ekans, and Bubble Beam a Sand Slash. And yeah, while that wasn't one hit for each one on the Sand Slash, I mean, it still was fairly effective, so I'm not going to complain. Ekans, Body Slam. Bubble Beam takes out Sandshrew in one, and Body Slam takes out Arbok. This is a joke. I'm going to save. We're at 2 hours and 20 minutes in game time, 44 minutes real life. Um, we're at Giovanni, so let's beat him up and get the self scout. First and foremost, he's going to have Onyx, so do you have to guess? Bubble Beam, I think that's going to be a one-hit KO, and it most definitely is. No crit required. Four times weak. This is all I need. Rhyhorn is going to be the same situation. So, yep, there we go. And now the only possible threat, a fellow Kongus Kong. Ooh, not if I level up, though. Okay, so Mama versus Mama. Body Slam. Not quite a one-hit KO, but that is definitely over 50%, and that's all that matters. And there you go, I critted, but that doesn't even matter, so... Now we have the self-scope, and I'm gonna dig out of here. And this time I was actually smart enough to do it in Celadon, so... There we go. Now we're gonna go to the... Convenience store. And I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're gonna get two fresh waters and a soda. I want to say. So one, two, and the soda. Thank you. And we're going to get Ice Beam, and we're going to get Rock Slide, which I will teach, like, right now. Thank you. And that'll give me that nice uh, flying coverage. I might not even need Ice Beam or Thunderbolt anymore, but it's um, just in case bad things happen, you know? It's, it's going to be something I have in my back pocket. I do not want to get rid of that, because... Who knows? I might need that in Elite Four, and in that case, I'm actually going to buy a Polka Doll as well. I don't think I honestly need uh, to get, like, uh, Mimic, but it's better to have it now and, you know, just... If I have it in my pocket, I'm not going to regret it later if I actually need to use it, you know? But yeah, let's get our Fly HM. Oh, I do not have room for it. Okay, um... PP up, Mama. Uh, rock Slide, because Rock Slide's actually fairly important. There you go. And let's teach Fly to our Spiro, and, well, I guess we're gonna fly back because, um, I'm gonna need to deposit some of the stuff anyway, so, Mr. B's box, deposit, get rid of the Helix fossil, the SS ticket, of course, you know, the typical stuff. Cut. Um,. The lift key. And... Uh, HM2, because we just used it. So, there we go. Now we're going to deal with... Um, Erica. I really do not foresee any problems with that. But, who knows? Interesting things have happened in the past. And, I mean... I have been surprised by Pokemon I thought would do better or worse. So, let's just see. I'm... Gonna take her on first with her execute, and I'm just gonna body slam it. And it survived one hit, which gives me a hint of what's to come, but we're at 2 hours, 30 minutes in game time, 47 minutes in real time. Let's get the uh, fourth badge already, won't we? Okay. So she's gonna start off with Victory Bell, of course. I'm pretty sure I outspeed, so let's just use Body Slam. And... I critted, so I don't know if that was a one-hit KO. I want to say it was, because I don't think he's got a huge defense stat, but who knows. Body Slam on Tangela. Another crit, so... Still don't know what we're looking at here, but I am leveling up. 79 attack, 77 speed. You can't go wrong. Alright, Body Slam Vileplume. Not quite, but I got the Paralysis, so my luck is just supreme, and I she missed the Sleep of Powder, so... Easy, easy victory, guys. Uh, if that's the case, now we're just gonna go to Fuchsia's... Actually, no. We're gonna go... Fly... Back to Celadon, and we're gonna go to Saffron City. Because I wanna actually get that out of the way. There you go. I don't think I can use Psychic, so I'm not gonna visit Mr. Psychic, but I keep forgetting to come here. So, um, now that that's off the list, now we are going to go see Koga. Because 
I kind of like doing them in badge order. Plus, I don't really see any advance. Oh, I'm stupid. We got to go to Lavender Town. I'm going to reset because I wasted so much time. We got to go to Lavender Town. Ugh. I can't believe I let that just... Ugh. But yeah, it looks like still... It would have been a two-hit combo for uh, Vile Plume. But, um... I mean, still don't know about Tangela. Either way, I'm I'm super stupid. I'm sorry, guys. I completely forgot I need to go to Lavender. I'm still going to fly to Celadon because I want to activate Saffron so I don't have to worry about it. But, yeah, no, I should have just fly to Lavender after going here. All right, let's take care of that. I forgot about the Pokemon Tower for a second. I was thinking too far ahead. Well, that's fine. Now that we're here, we're going to take on Let's Bab for the fourth time. And as always, he's going to be underleveled, so I don't think there's any issues. Two hours, 35 minutes in game time. Let's do this. So Let's Bab has a Pidgeot at this point? No, he's got a Pidgeotto still. So level 25, not an issue for Mama. She's just going to Rock Slide. And she missed, unfortunately, but Pidgeotto used Whirlwind, so who cares? And Rock Slide... One hit KO? Very nice. Now we've got Growlithe, so I'm going to use Rock Slide again. Which is why I got Rock Slide in the first place. Coverage. Earthquake is going to be even better because it's got a 100% accuracy instead of 90%. But, um, I mean, Rock Slide does the job right now. Body Slam for Execute. One hit KO? Very nice. Then again, it was weaker than the one we fought at Erika's. And Kadabra's level 20, so he's not hes not going to survive one body slam. Yeah, not even a chance. Okay. And lastly, um, War Turtle, I believe. So let's just use body slam again. What are we looking at? We're looking... That wasn't even a critical. That was just a one-hit KO. So yeah. Um, Mama ain't no joke. So I think I, I I think we are on a good we're, we're on a good uh, path right now. But yeah, let's just get through this tower real quick. It's oh wait, don't forget the repels. I keep forgetting the repels on occasion. So all right. Now the ghastlies, we're just gonna use rock slide and they're gonna go away. It's not even an issue. Which is why I wanted to put on Rock Slide now, because I do not want to use special moves on the Gastlies, because it would just take a lot longer. They actually have a very decent special stat, and it's just going to be super annoying. And I know you guys don't want that. Um, so, Repel, turn that... Come on, back on. But we're almost done. Just two more Chandlers, and of course Marowak and the Rockets, but other than that, we're good. Because as long as I hit, which is a 90% chance, uh, they don't stand a chance. And now we've got Marowak. I could have put Ice Beam, but I think Bubble Beam, yeah, two hit KO, does the trick just fine. And now we're just going to tear through these rockets because, honestly, what are they going to do? There's literally nothing that they have that matters. Now I noticed I got a 1 in 256 glitch, which was annoying, but... It didn't seem to hurt the situation too badly. And uh, if, for those who are curious, 1 in 256 glitch is the fact that a uh, move with 100% chance should not miss. But uh, the way uh, old Pokemon does it is uh, basically they do a random number generator between 1 and 255. And if the number is over your um, accuracy, uh, you will miss. But... Um, well, for a 100%, the check for that is 255, so you shouldn't. However, it's, like, lower. So, like, 255 is the same number as 255, so if you get 255, it's a miss. It's a weird little thing, but that's how it works, and, um, yeah, that's what's the 1 256 glitch. Either way, we're already past all this. I ran away from the Snorlax, because there's never need to fight the dude. We don't have to fight any biker unless we want to, which with a psychic type would be wonderful, but I don't think it's needed. I mean, as you see here, we just fly on by. I'm going to do that, just because I always do that before I enter a gym. And we're going to deal with Koga. Um, he's got a bunch of psychic Pokemon with his uh, jugglers, but as you can see here, 
Nothing can really take a body slam except maybe a Hypno, which I'm about to fight now, but... I mean, well, you can see right here. Hypno, I critted so it doesn't matter, and like I said, with Kong is Kong speed, crits are normal, so... We're at 2 hours 52 minutes, and um, 54 minutes real life. We're in front of Koga! Let's see how well he does. Okay, first off, we're gonna do Rock Slide, because that might be a little more effective. Let's see. That is not. That actually did terrible. I'm gonna do Body Slam, especially since now he used X Attack. No, he's surviving fairly good! Okay, we're gonna finish him off with Bubble Beam, so it's gonna be maybe a two-hit KO with Body Slam. I mean, we'll, we'll figure it out right now, but I did not expect that. Let's see, Body Slam on Muck. Okay, Muck is gonna be a three-hit combo. And I'm not getting a paralysis. Wait, I critted. Never mind, that was a two hit. Okay, coughing. Let's do body slam. Let's see how much that looks. Oh, I critted, so he did not stand a chance. So we're at full health, and we just leveled up, and we're coming up to wheezing. I don't even think a self destruct will knock me out, but let's see. Body slam on wheezing. Wheezing takes about a third. Wheezing wastes his turn with smog, a very weak poison attack with very low accuracy. Second Body Slam, he's doing X uh, attack, setting up to explode himself. Um, wasted his turn with Smog, so it's a 4-hit KO, but it doesn't matter. He didn't even hit me once because Smog's uh, accuracy is terrible. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. At this point, I am perfectly fine with this. I'm just going to deposit some of more of these useless items, like the Bicycle, for example, and uh, the Sylph Scope, and the Polka Flute, for sure. And, um, oh, I have an HP up. I forgot I got that from the Pokemon Tower. Let's use that real quick. Thank you. And now we're just gonna have to deal with the, um, Savari Zone real quick. And I do mean real quick, because as you all recall, there's really nothing I need to do except grab the gold teeth, and it's at the end, so who cares, right? Just get some repels and run on through. And I think I have just enough, and I can get some more Aunt Saffron Max repels. And that should be all I need for the rest of the game, so... I'm running out right now, but that's the perfect timing, ain't it? And I found the one full restore, which may get me through the rest of the game until I get to the Elite Four. And now we're in the place where we can catch Kongus Kong, but we must say goodbye for now. And thank you. That's a TM I don't want. That's a protein. And I'm gonna take that because I want the attack bonus. Beautiful. Okay, we're almost there. Now, for those of you who are not in the know, you can use Dig here, so all you need to do is make sure you get HM3 from this guy, and then, yeah, just dig out. Also, you could teach Mama Surf, but I don't think that's necessary, honestly. I mean, water coverage is okay, but... With Mama Special, I mean, it's better just to have Rock Side and Earthquake, to be completely, utterly honest. But yeah, let's heal. And um, I'm going to buy something real quick, and then um, we're going to do the Sylph building. Uh, now, I actually do need to worry about which floor I go to. I want to say, if from the top of my head, because I'm going off of memory here, I want to say Floor 10. And Floor 10 would have, um, I want to say it has Earthquake, but I am going off of memory, so I'm not entirely sure. Good, Mart's open. And, yeah, let's just grab this real quick. 20 should get me through the rest of the game. And I think I have enough potions, I don't even have to worry. I mean, I have super potions, yeah, but I think that's more than enough at this point. But first and foremost, I do want to go to the fifth floor because we need the card key no matter what we're going to do. So we're going to get the card key real quick. And then I'm probably going to get Earthquake because then that's just going to make the rest of the game a breeze. And as you can see, there's just an Arbok here. No one cares. And I still have an Antidote, thank God, because I did not want to waste the full restore already, you know? I just got here. Now, um... I need to double check, but I'm pretty sure it's the 10th floor. I could be wrong, and I don't want to be wrong. Yeah, it's the 10th floor. Okay. I'm going to get that right now, so Giovanni is a joke. 
Chibi in this room. Oh, it's not? I'm sorry. It's in that room down there on the bottom left. Gonna have to fight that rocket, but I mean, he's got a Machoke, and I've got Body Slam. There. Now, there's also a Rare Candy, I think. Yeah, Rare Candy, Carbos, and that should be Earthquake, but let's use the Carbos real quick. Thank you. And there we go, TM26 Earthquake. So that's gonna go to Mama, and we basically have everything we need for the rest of the game. Let's just get rid of, uh... Hmm... Let's get rid of Thunderbolt. I honestly don't need it. I can use Bubble Beam to take care of the rocks. And that's gonna be the more annoying part. So I'm gonna do that. I, if If anything's wrong, I have Ice Beam, which is just a better move, so... No need to worry, I don't think I messed up. If anything, we should be good for the rest of the game. I do not need to learn anything else. It's not like I can learn Swords Dance anyway, so it's just... Let's do this. We're at Let's Bab for the fifth time already. I'm at max HP. We're at 3 hours and 8 minutes in-game. 59 minutes in real life. Let's do this. Now, he should have a Pidgeot this time. But luckily, well, I still have Rock Slide, so it shouldn't matter. There we go. Level 37, so... They're catching up with me, that's for sure. Quick Attack barely did anything. Rock Slide hits first try, thank goodness. Not quite a one-hit KO, finish off with Body Slam. Oh! I'm faster, I guess it was just the Quick Attack, okay. Growlithe, that's gonna be an Earthquake. Now, I don't even need to guess, it's going to be a one-hit KO. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Okay, execute. I'm going to go with Body Slam. You know what? I might want Ice Beam for Executor, actually. No, Executor has a lot of special. No, no, I don't think so. Okay, Alakazam. We're just going to use a Body Slam. Yeah, that's going to be a one-hit KO no matter what. He does not have the HP or defense to handle me. Now I'm level 40. And now we have Blastoise, and I'm just going to use Body Slam, because that's got the stab, and I might paralyze. Not quite 50%, mm, kind of 40-ish. And he's using Withdrawal, so game's mine, unless I miss. No, we're good. So that's Let's Bab number 5, the hardest version of him. That is, well, no, there's six. But he's the hard one for at the point of the game that you're at. But six is no joke, obviously. But now uh, it should be just Giovanni who will be a joke. Unfortunately, he will not be able to handle anything I have for him. I see literally a bunch of one, hit two, one and two hit KOs in the future. And I don't know why Mama learns Leer at level 41. That is such a bad thing to learn so late in the game. <laughs> That's an early game move, not a late game move. Either way, let's deal with Giovanni real quick. I do not foresee any problems. First off, Earthquake on Nidorito. One hit KO as it should be. Okay, now for Kangaskhan. Eh, body... No, I can't body slam. Earthquake then. Because it does... It, it's PP... It's, uh... Power 100. But unfortunately, it looks like uh, a crit didn't even knock him out, so I wouldn't have even done half, so that's interesting. And Rhyhorn should be as simple as a bubble beam. Beautiful. And Needle Queen should be his last one. She might take one Earthquake, but I don't think she will take two. So let's see, Earthquake. Yeah, that's what I thought. And Body Slam is hurts, but she can't actually paralyze me with Body Slam because you cannot paralyze a Pokemon. Well, you can't inflict a status effect with a move like Poison Sting or Body Slam against a Pokemon of the same type. And being a normal type, uh, yeah, I cannot get Body Slam Paralysis, so that's nice. Now I'm going to use an Escape Rope to get out of here and get that out of my inventory. Heal up, and let's take on Sabrina as quick as we can. And I'm not even going to look at the papers on which teleporters I need. I'm pretty sh sure I... Wait, I think I messed up already. Let me see. 
There you go. And then, yeah, right, then left, then down, then down. Okay, I confused them, but you see, I, I, I fixed that pretty quickly. Three hours and 17 minutes in game time, an hour and three minutes. Let's do Sabrina. So, um, do I expect any problems? No. I'm seeing one hit with body slam. Yep. Well, that was crit, but Kadabra would not have taken a body slam. If Alakazam could not take it, that Kadabra wasn't. Mr. Mime, one body slam, not even a crit, and it's one hit KO. Uh, now Venomoth, who is weak to ground, so I'm just going to use Earthquake. Beautiful, one hit KO, but that was a crit, Cole, so who knows. And lastly, we have Alakazam. I still have I still have Stab with Body Slam, so... He used Reflect, though, so he's going to have the damage, which... Well, good on ya. And now he's going to use Recover. Hopefully we can Paralyze with the Spouty Slam. Okay, I did Paralyze. If I can get a crit, I can bypass Reflect entirely. And I did! So that's his Sabrina. I literally took no damage. And yeah, um, I'm, I'm feeling good. Now we can just head straight to Blaine. I don't even have to stop at the Pokemon Center at this point because I'm not even going to fight a Pokemon in the Pokemon Mansion. And I just need my Earthquakes, which I used, what, one to fight her? So, Repel. And um, let's get these Max Repels up here. There we go. And, oh, crap. I'm getting too excited. Lapras needs to learn... Sir, I forgot to go to the house. I've got to get strength from the old man. Oop, careful. I'm going too fast, and I'm missing some steps. And I didn't even mean to fight that dude, but... Well, as you can see, not a big deal. Uh, wow, the repel just wore off, dude! Okay. I get, it's still fine. Uh, strength is literally just walk into Fuchsia and go right real quick and then just talk to the old man. I don't need strength right now, so it's not going to stop anything. If anything, we're just going to grab this Carbos. We're going to use it to increase Kongus Kong's speed. There we go. Mama's faster. And I don't think I need to worry. I mean, this is Blizzard. I think she can learn it, but... It doesn't really matter, I still have Ice Beam too, but like I said, how strong uh, Kongus Kong is, it's not like I'm going to use Blizzard anyway. I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to use it for the dragons, because I have Body Slam and Rock Slide, so... Yeah, no, this is a fairly clean run. I don't think I need any weird types. Unfortunately, now I have to do something. I'm going to throw away this antidote. Thank you. And now we just dig out. You know what? I'm fine with this, because I gotta I gotta go to Fuchsia real quick. There we go. Oh, come on. And I wanted to get this out of the way right now, because then I can just put this in the... Um, no, not Mama. What's wrong with me? I can put this in the box and forget about it afterwards. Lapras, thank you. Alright. Now we're going to deal with Blaine. I'm still not going to save at the center. If anything, though, I am going to do one thing, and that is use this last repel. Because I can technically learn Fire Blast, so I don't want to miss out on that. Thank you. But right now, we're just going to answer these questions. I do not need a level, so we're just going to focus on uh, getting these correct. There is not nine badges, there's eight, and there's technically much more than that. And yeah, the first one was, does Caterpie evolve into Butterfree? Technically, yes, even though he technically evolves into Metapod first, but... Yep, that's how this game's being. Uh, Electric does not affect ground element type Pokémon. Every Pokémon is different. And lastly, there is no such move as Tombstoner. There we go. And this time I didn't go too fast. So, Blaine, we're looking at 3 hours 29 minutes in-game. An hour and 8 minutes real. Let's do this! I don't think there's going to be an issue because I have Earthquake. So, let's see. Mama is slightly stronger than um, Growlithe, so the rest of them are probably going to out-level. But here we go. Earthquake. One hit KO, no crit. 
And you gotta remember, Mom has a high crit chance, too, so... Let's see, Ponyta, who is weaker than Growlithe. One hit KO, that was a crit, but I don't think that mattered. Um, will Rapidash outspeed us? The answer is no. Earthquake hits. One hit KO with a crit. I, I don't know how I'm getting all these crits in a row. And now Arcanine, who is stronger, but I still have speed. Earthquake. I crit again. Did I crit everyone but Growlithe? Did I seriously just crit his whole team? Because that's just awesome. <laughs> but either way, uh, yeah, that was Blaine. I know, such a difficult fight. Now we're going to go to Viridian so we can take care of Giovanni real quick because, well, we, he's still not an issue. And also we're going to take care of these extra things we don't need, like for Surf, this card key, we don't need Strength, and we don't need the Secret Key. And technically there could be a few other things, but I'll worry about them later. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here, and first off we're going to fight the Fight King. Um, I don't need to save, actually, because you know what? This Machoke ain't gonna take a body slam. Okay, he's gonna take one. The Machop... Machop. What's wrong with me? Body slam. They're all just using focus energy and getting pumped, which is actually a terrible move, so... That was a free win. This kid's got a Rhyhorn, so that's an even freer win. This is gonna be a one-hit bubble beam. I mean, I critted, but I don't think it mattered. And I'm going at Giovanni at full health, 3 hours, 36 minutes, in-game time. I'm a little slow because of Brock, but I could maybe beat Dodrio's time. Either way, we're at an hour and 10 minutes real time. Giovanni's got a uh, Rhyhorn first thing, so Bubble Beam. Well, I take a sip of my tea, but that is a critical hit, 1-8 KO. Okay, we got Doug Trio. Um, he might actually be an issue, so I'm gonna use Earthquake. Why am I gonna use Earthquake? Because it can hit him if he digs. But that was a one-hit KO because he's got low HP and defensive stats, so it works out. Nido Queen, we're gonna do an Earthquake. Not quite one hit, but she's using a Tail Whip, which is just gonna make matters worse for her. Yeah, there we go. Now, uh, Nido King isn't quite as bulky, so honestly, he might not even survive one Earthquake. Let's see. Plus, I'm getting a, a boost from the Tail Whip. Oh, he survived. And for those who don't know, uh, there's a glitch in the game that basically when your statistics change, either if they're lowered or increased, um, all, all the stats that you have a badge for will increase by 12.5% each time your stats are modified, except when you level up. When you level up, it undoes that. That's the badge boost glitch. Since I'm not, I don't have a move to take advantage of that, I haven't really explained it yet, but yeah, just a little quick summary. Basically, uh, Brock's, Lieutenant Surge's, Koga's, and um, Blaine's badges increase individual stats, so once you get them, you get a permanent 12.5% increase. However, if your stats are increased or decreased by, like, Leer or Sword Stance and stuff like that, Every stat that you have a badge for will increase by the 12.5 as well, and like I said, if you level up, it undoes it, but still. Uh, yep, that's the badge boost glitch, and that was Giovanni, that was hardly a challenge at all. And now we're just going to, um, heal up real quick, because Let's Bab is waiting outside the door, basically. I'm going to deposit the TMs I've currently got because I expect to see a few things in a minute, so I want to keep those just in case I need them, but I'm going to be grabbing items on along the way, so I don't want to accidentally, you know, not be able to pick something up and waste time, so we're at 3 hours 41 minutes in-game, 1 hour 13 minutes real life, let's deal the final rival battle, number 6, let's bad, let's do this with your Pidgeot. He's level 47, so he starts off at a uh, level advantage. So Rock Slide does not one hit, but that is still about 70%, so I think we're good. I'm going to do Body Slam to finish it off. Yep, that looks beautiful. Okay, now we've got Rhyhorn. Um, as we've established, Rhyhorn cannot stand bubbles. There we go. 
All right, now, Growlithe. This is gonna be as simple as an earthquake. Beautiful. Okay, and I level up, very nice. One, 115 attack, 114 speed, you can't go wrong with those numbers. Execute, we're just gonna body slam because, yeah, I, I'm not gonna use a special move on that guy. It's not worth it. My, my special is too low and his special is too high, so it would not really do anything. At least not compared to, like, a body slam, so. Alakazam, just one body slam, but, oh, he attacks first with Psychic. He does a lot of damage with Psychic, but Mama took it, and Body Slam is a one-hit KO. My special fell, so I'm not going to be able to take any re special attacks from Blastoise, so I might lose this. Let's see, do I get a lucky crit? Body Slam, not even half. Hydro Pump missed. Body Slam, do I get a crit this time? I do. I can actually rely on crits because of how fast Mama is, and Let's Bab is a first turn victory, even though that special defense that special drop should have killed me. But there we go, we're good. Let's just get on to the Pokemon League challenge. There's nothing we need to really worry about at this point. I mean, we're not gonna stop anywhere in Victory Road that matters, not gonna fight anyone, so. Uh, if I do need some levels, I do have a bunch of uh, rare candies, which I haven't used yet, so. I mean, I have no concerns right now. At this point, it's just get to the end. We're on the home stretch already, and I'm feeling good. Kongus Kong did really good today, and I mean, honestly, considering what normal types are capable of, they can be some of the worst Pokemon you have, but they can also be some of the best. I mean, definitely Tauros and uh, Snorlax are going to be equally as good, maybe even better, but yeah, Kongus Kong has that speed advantage, but... So does Tauros. I think Tauros has a good speed stat, too, so... We'll have to see. I Tauros might do better than Kongus Kong, but... Snorlax is slower, but he is bulky and beefy and strong. I'm not gonna get the rare candy, because I don't need it. I really don't. I forgot the guy was standing there. Oh god, fine, Body Slam. I got poison, but who cares? War Turtle doesn't matter, Charmeleon doesn't matter, Charizard cannot handle two body slams. Ah, that was a... Uh, well, good thing I'm literally going to be at the Pokemon League where you can buy them, but... That's really annoying. I, I literally did not get the rare candy to save time, and I just run into that trainer completely forgetting where he stood. Oh well, we're almost out of here anyway. Just two more strength puzzles, basically. One. Just get this to the end, and then push one down a hole, and then use that for a switch, and then we're done. Just don't go up in that ladder. Moltres is up there, and that'll just waste time. I mean, it's not even worth a lot of experience points, trust me. I know, because I've been desperate enough to beat Moltres just because I need more levels. There we go, done. And this is the last puzzle, and it's not even a puzzle, it's move straight. There, we're good. And now we're at the Pokemon League. We're at the Indico Plateau. Um, do I foresee any issues? I mean, honestly, our type coverage is great. So if anything, I'm more concerned with um, getting hit with special attacks. Like, I'm not particularly weaknesses or anything, because Bruno does not scare me at all. But I am worried about special attacks because Mama's special is fairly low, which also includes her special defense, because it's the same stat, so that might be an issue, but we'll have to see. Um, I might swap out Bubble Beam later, we'll have to see how well we do right now, but first, we got Lorelei, I've got Rock Slide, it's 3 hours, 54 minutes, we're at the league, so let's do this. So, of course, she's going to start with her Dugong. We're going to do Rock Slide. We outspeed, even though we're six levels lower. And that was a crit, so that would have probably been a three-hit KO. Growl is probably the worst thing ever, because now our attack is lowered. So, well, uh, crits don't care, but still, this is going to be very annoying now. Coyster, same thing, Rock Slide. Yeah, no, that's doing about a quarter or even less than a quarter. So maybe if I get a crit, things won't be too bad. But uh, he took out a decent chunk of Spike Cannon, of course, but 
Oh, great. Now we got supersonic, so who knows? Okay, we still go through. Luckily, we did get Grouse, so if we do hit ourselves in confusion, it's going to do less. Okay, Mama levels up to 49, and we're at the slow bro with 124 health. We're doing okay. Um, I don't think water is this ground, so let's use Earthquake. Mm, that didn't do much, though. Body Slam for the stab, and we might get a Paralysis, too. Ugh, we're barely doing anything, cause, and I'm getting more Growls. I mean, technically, i also getting a badge boost, but that is not helping the situation. I actually gotta hope for crits to do enough damage, especially if they keep spamming Growl! Oh god, at this point... <laughs> oh wow, that did a lot. At this point, Bubble Beam might do more. No, it def- well, that was a crit. Crits ignore stat changes. No, never mind. Bubble Beam does not do more. <laughs> okay, Body Slam. Can I get a crit, then? Yeah, no, I don't foresee that going well. I, that was probably a loss anyway, but... Three Growls? That, that was not going to end up well. So, we're just going to have to try again? That was just bad luck, so... This time, hopefully, we'll do a little better. Rock Slide on Dugong. Okay, without a crit, it looks like just under 50%, so this still, this looks like a 3-hit KO. Aurora Beam did over 70, which is concerning. And, uh, well, she's got rest going, but I can't really take advantage of it because I do not have any uh, stat moves that are going to increase my stats, so who cares, right? And now I get the crit, even though I don't need it now. Body Slam, take out Dugong. Luckily, Cloyster isn't going to go after my attack, but he might confuse me, so... Still gotta be careful. Luckily, I am at full attack now, so... Rock Slide is going to do about... A third, maybe? And now he's using Clamp, and... Yeah. I'm... Mm. Yeah, this doesn't look like a victory. Okay. That's fine. Because I am coming un in under-leveled, so I think at this point it's appropriate to at least use... You know, use all the rare candies, because I'm not... I don't have anything to take advantage of badge boost, so... Yeah, why save it? Let's go into the fight at level 55 now and see how different it is. Okay, Rock Slide on Dugong. Okay, that's definitely over half, so we made it a 2-hit KO, but now she uses Growl. And now Rock Slide could have knocked it out, but of course Growl just ruins it. Oh well, maybe we could get through this a little easier. Now we got a higher health and special stat, and be maybe we won't take as much damage from the Aurora Beams and such. Ooh, that was a crit Rock Slide. That was about 80%. I'm not complaining. And there's an Aurora Beam, but it only did about 40-ish, but Cloyster's special is nothing to write home about, so I'm not too impressed. But there we go! Now we have 152 health at slow, bro. Let's use Body Slam. Hopefully we don't get any more Growls. Uh, that's about a quarter, I think. Let's try again. Hope for a crit. Nope, but we get the Paralysis. And now we get the Growl. Why do you keep growling? Ugh. Even with the full paralysis, unless I get a crit, I'm doing no damage. And now he's using withdrawal too, so it's even worse. Alright, now we gotta get lucky. Let's see if we can crit on Jinx, because she has very little defense. Let's see. Body hit slam. Mm, that did about half, so I'm not complaining about that. Thrash didn't really do anything. Okay, and I got, of course I got the crit when I don't need it. Okay, now, Lapras. This is going to be concerning. Let's try Body Slam to Paralyze. Yeah, that barely did any damage. Luckily, Hydro Pump missed. Body Slam. Still barely any damage. Please don't hit me too hard. Oh my god, I survived. Body Slam again. Still no Paralysis, and that's the KO for me. So, I mean, from what I've seen, I'm still not too concerned. I... Ugh, let me reset this. I'm doing this all wrong. I'm still not too concerned because technically, I mean... I'm just getting bad luck with a bunch of growls. 
So, if we at least get past the growl part portion of the game, that's all that matters to me. So let's see. Uh, rock slide again! And I missed. Which, of course, with my low, um... Uh, well, it's not low accuracy, it's 90%, but still, there's that little chance. And now she's gonna use rest, so let's just use rock slide and hopefully... Yeah, just don't miss again, please. Of course, I miss again! Ugh. Okay, at least we got that. Dugong is down. Now we gotta worry about Cloyster hitting us with her aura beam and lowering her attack, but hopefully not. Rock slide? Uh, 40%. He's using Spike Cannon. Not too concerned about Spike Cannon. It hit four times, so it did about 40-ish, but... Four... Like, it's not doing that much. As long as it doesn't hit too much. That's all my main concern is. But there you go. Cloyster down. No attack loss. Body Slam. Can I get a Paralysis before Slowbro gets nasty? No, but I get a crit. And he uses Water Gun, which... Still does, like, over 30. Which is... Uh, it's bad. Still, two hit KO on Slowbro. We got 84 health. I think we win this time. Because Jinx... Let's see. Body Slam. Completely full powered. Yeah, that's a one hit KO. There wasn't a question about it. Jinx's defense is terrible. Okay, Lapras. Let's see how much we do. Body Slam, can you please paralyze her? No, but that did about 40%. Body Slam almost knocked me out with a crit. Rock Slide. Let's try for Rock Slide. Please. Nope. And Hydro Pump hit. Huh, I might have... Maybe I should have just used uh, Body Slam and hope for the uh, Paralysis chance because, um... Yeah. No, that was... That sucked. And there's not much I can do about it because my special is terrible, so it's not like I'm gonna use, like, Fire Blast and do any better. It's... I gotta... Ugh, stop missing with Rock Slide. Luckily, she used Takedown, but please stop missing with Rock Slide. Okay, I critted. That was a one-hit KO. Thank goodness. Cloyster, Rock Slide misses again. And Aurora Beam did, like, 60 health. Okay. Now we got Spike Cannon. Come on, Rock Slide, crit for me. Get rid of Cloyster. Nope. And now Aurora Beam... Yeah, no, I'm not even gonna be able to take a water gun from Slowbro. Yeah, this ain't good. Alright, let's see, Body Slam, can I luck into a crit? Yes, I can. Can I luck into a second one? Especially now that he's withdrawn? I can! Okay, this might be okay, because Jinx will be a one-hit KO. Come on, just paralyze Lapras. That's all I'm asking. Lapras, body slam, paralyze her. There we go! Paralyzed! And Hydro Pump. Yeah, no, that doesn't matter. Hydro Pump's a one hit. Ugh. Can't use Mega Drain. Ice Beam is useless for this situation. Hmm... No, let me reset that because I'm doing that wrong. I'm going to grab two things out of the box. I'm going to grab... Um, 38, which I'm pretty sure is Fire Blast, and I'm going to grab Surf. Because I'm going to replace Bubble Beam with Fire Blast, and then afterwards I'm just going to replace a Fire Blast with Surf. And maybe that'll give me what I need... This is basically for, um, this is for Cloyster, because Cloyster can be a bit annoying because of his high special defense, so maybe Fire Blast will give me the edge I need to get through him quick. We'll see. First of all, I did not level up. And Rockside critted. Oh my god, I did not level up. What's wrong with me? There. Okay, Cloyster. Fire Blast. I was too distracted. Oh my god, that was worse. Okay, Rock Slide. Yeah, no, that was... That didn't do any better. And now I'm confused. And I hit myself in confusion. And then he uses Supersonic again because he's taunting me for some reason. And... 
Rock Slide didn't even get the KO. Can I get a crit version, please? Nope. And she's just gonna spam Super Potions until I get a crit. Nope. Now I take Aurora Beam. My attack didn't go down, thank goodness, but this ain't much better. I forgot to level up. I can't believe it. <sighs> At least I level up here. Body Slam. Doing about a third to slow, bro. He's using Amnesia, though, so... Not too bad. And not a third, more like a quarter, I apologize. I got a crit and paralysis, so slow bro is no issue, thank goodness. Okay, maybe this will work out, because I think Jinx is still going to be a one-hit kit KO regardless. Do I have speed, though? I do. And, yep, I criticaled, so I don't know if that mattered, but... Okay, Lapras, can I get the paralysis I need? Yes, and I did about a quarter. And he's paralyzed! Body slam again, we're at about half... Ugh. Hydro pump. I do not survive hydro pump because of a crit! Because of course. Uh. Okay, so that's proven to me that using fire blast wouldn't matter regardless, so... I'm not even gonna go back to it. I actually have a dumber idea! <laughs> You want to do dumb ideas, kids? Let's do dumb ideas. We're going to get TM27, and we're going to get Surf. Now, for those of you who don't remember, because I never use it, TM27 is Fissure. An instant KO move with a 33% chance to hit. It does not hit Pokemon that are faster than you. However, every single one of her Pokemon are slower than me, including Cloyster and Lapras. This is a dumb idea, but it might actually work, so let's give it a shot. First and foremost, Dugong, we're just going to use Rock Slide. I'm not going to risk Dugong. Okay. Aurora Beam. Oh, uh, she critted. And she lowered my attack. Damn it. Oh, well. That is that is um, Dugong down. Cloyster. Let's see. Fissure. It hit! Oh my god. You know what? Because Slowbro is so sl like... Yeah, no, I'm gonna Fissure Slowbro. It hit! Twice in a row is so freaking... S like, so... F it's, it's such a low chance. Okay. Body Slam. Can I one-hit KO Jinx at least? No, but Jinx uses Thrash, and my defense is decent, so... Okay, we're good with that. Now, I'm going to take a big ol' risk, but will Fissure hit Lapras? Let's find out. Fissure! No, I missed. Hydro Pump missed. Fissure missed! Body Slam. Please survive. I survive! Fissure! Missed. Blizzard. Missed. Oh god, Body Slam! Body slam. Oh! Body slam. Paralyzed? Does it... S no. That was oddly close, but the likeliness of hitting it twice in a row is so ridiculously small. I mean, that is actually hilarious that that worked out the way it did. Either way, I'm going to pick up Fissure again, and I'm going to pick up Surf again, and I'm going to save outside of the room, and then I'm going to use them, because... Unfortunately, that seems like actually a valid, a valid technique, but yeah, I'm already at 3 hours 55 minutes. I am not catching up to the birds or Mew, but let's see. Fissure, let's try again. Maybe this time. I mean, heck, it worked against Cloyster and Slowbro, and that's all I can hope for, because they're the annoying ones anyway, so... If I can't get Lapras, I can't get Lapras, but as long as I get Cloyster and Slowbro... Alright, let's do this. I don't really need to explain myself at po this point. Let's just go. Rock slide, take down. Rock slide, she's down. Fissure, does it hit? It does not hit. Cloyster, missed clamp. Fissure, it doesn't hit. Cloyster used the supersonic, but it missed. Fissure, hits. There. I'm going to use Fissure again. It missed. Slowbro uses amnesia. Fissure, missed. That's fine. Withdraw. Okay, so that was all the fissures, but I'm not going to complain too much. 
We're just gonna use Body Slam to try to get the Paralysis. I know he's using a bunch of withdrawals, but if I crit, he's done. I'm doing so little damage, though, and Water Gun with Amnesia is actually hurting. Come on, crit. And he's getting more Water Guns. Ow. Come on, crit, please. I did... <sighs> and now I get a Growl, just a... <sighs> Let's see. I'm skipping Jinx, because we know how that goes. No. Ah, <sighs> come on. We can do this, guys. I believe in the Fissure strats, at least for Lorelei. I know it's stupid and lucky, but at this point, I don't have Thunderbolt anymore, and I don't think it would help much anyway, so we just gotta hope. And if this doesn't work again, I'm gonna have to try to level up a little bit, so... Rock Slide on Dugong. She used Growl, because of course she did. Fissure. Did missed, 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 and... I did not hit a single fissure. I don't count that as a valid run because that was just a whole bunch of misses and it managed to get clamp off too, so... I'm gonna give one more fissure shot. I have to actually at least get past Cloyster to consider it a fair shot for fissure. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. So as always, Rock Slide. She used Growl, because of course she did. Fissure! It hit! Fissure did not hit Slowbro. Three, four, did not hit any of them. So we're going to have to use a very weakened Body Slam because, well, we took a bunch of Growls and there's nothing we can do about it. Jinx, one hit with Crit. Body Slam on Lapras, barely does anything. Hydro Bump hurts a lot. Body Slam again. Uh, missed Hydro Pump this time. This is going to be like a six or seven hit KO. I got her paralyzed now, but Hydro Pump hits, and I'm not going to survive that. So, yeah, it seems like the news is in. We need to level up a little bit, so I'm going to grab Withdraw Lapras. And actually, I should also withdraw Paris as well, because I'm going to want Dig. And we're going to go through the Victory Road for a minute just to get a couple trainers. Because there are a few we could just reach right away, so it's not a big deal. Just going to use Strength. And they're going to be right here. One's like a Water and one's a like Grass, so... Just Body Slam and Body Slam and Body Slam. There we go. Now we're level 49. And with this guy... Kingler. Body Slam. Body Slam. Body Slam. A Blastoise. Lovely. Not a level up, but that's fine, because I'm going to fall down this hole. Battle this guy. He's got Psychic, so Body Slamming, like, they don't stand a chance. Plus, Earthquake will help, too. There we go, level 50. I think we could get one more, because there's a dude right here and another one above him, so... Body Slam. And Body Slam on Gold Duck. Beautiful. And there should be a guy right here. There we go. And he's got one Pokemon, so this might be it. There we go. Perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. That's three levels. That's going to mean I'm three levels stronger. Okay, going to deposit these guys back in the box, because I don't need them in the way. And now we're going to save. Four hours and five minutes. Still not a bad time. I'm still, like, behind... Like, I'm on Dodrio's tail at this point. But now we're going to teach Fissure one more time, because, um, like, I, Surf is just better Bubble Beam regardless, so I'm probably going to change it no matter what. Get increase in strength. Alright, let's see how well this does. So now we're at level 58, and Rock Slide mm, does about 70%. Aurora Beam... Does still about seven, well, 60, 70 damage. That's still a lot, but two rock slides, not bad. Rock slide on Cloyster at this level. Just under half, I want to say. Supersonic doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, it looks like a three hit KO, but I appreciate it. As long as they don't lower my stats with Aurora Beam or a Growl, that's all I care about. Now, Swallbro, let's see. Let's use Body Slam and see how much that does to Slowbro. 
Okay, that is definitely a third, but now he's using Growl. So I'm going to use Fissure. It hits. So thank goodness for that. Jinx should just be a body slam still. Well, I guess not with the attack lower, but it doesn't matter. Now, can I Fissure Lapras? No. Lapras sits me with Blizzard. And I'm knocked out without a crit at 99 health, so she's still got that massive special stat, but nothing we could do about that because Mama's special stat sucks. So we're going to have to deal and use a whole bunch of rare candies again and give this another try, hopefully without Growl. Every time I get a Growl from one of those Pokemon, it's just... Feel, I feel like it ends the run because that is my attack stat. I cannot use special. So, Rock Slide. Dugong. Two hits. Rock Slide. Spike Cannon. Supersonic. I'm confused, but I got off my other Rock Slide. I'm going to use Fissure. I'm not confused. First try on Slowbro. Perfect. I'm going to Body Slam Jinx, and that should be a one hit. I got a crit. Body Slam Lapras. Let's see how much it does. That is definitely just under half. She uses Body Slam, and it does, like, about 31 damage. Okay, two hits. Paralyzed. Blizzard could still KO. Gotta be careful. Please survive. Please survive. Please survive. I survived. I'm not frozen. Body Slam hits. That's Lorelei. Okay, now that we're done with the dumb luck portion of the show, at least she didn't wall me as hard as uh, she did with... Uh, Dodrio, but still, that is really annoying. But I'm going to teach Surf now because I am about to fight an Onyx, so might as well, right? We're going to deal with Bruno. Hello, Bruno. I've been meaning to fight you. Now, Surf on the first Onyx. That should be four times effective. I don't think it'll survive. And it does not. Okay, now with Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee, we're going to use Earthquake because... Well, actually, just Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan Earthquake because he has counter. And that's a crit one-hit KO. I don't know if it would have been otherwise. Uh, him only has less defense, so I'm going to use Body Slam. One-hit KO, no question about it. Now, with the Onyx, I don't even have to guess. Surf should be a one-hit KO. Beautiful. And now we just have to finish off my champ with uh, Body Slam, and I think we're good. I mean, he could use Submission, but I highly doubt he'll use it. Body Slam. That does about 90% with uh, Crit and Paralysis. He used Leer, unless I miss fights over. Alright. So that's Bruno. He was nothing as expected. We're going to use an Elixir, and we're just going to go straight on to Agatha. Uh, unlike most Pokemon, I have a solid answer to Agatha. All of her Pokemon have very bad defense, and I have Earthquake. So, we might be looking at a bunch of one-hit KOs, actually. Like, I'm not even going to lie. So, let's see here. Agatha's going to bring out her Gengar. Um, I am three levels higher. I want to say I outspeed. So, let's see. Earthquake. I outspeed. It hits. And that's a one-hit KO without crit, as I expected. And now I'm level 60. I might outspeed the Gengar. That's at the end. Golbat, I'm going to use Rock Slide. Not quite a one-hit KO. Gets his Confuse Ray off, that's fine. I'm going to use Body Slam. Hit myself in Confusion, not too bad. She uses the Super Potion, so she's waiting a turn. I'm not confused anymore. Getting good Confused luck with this run. Okay. Now, Haunter, I do not expect to be a problem, because it's just Lesser Gengar, so Earthquake. Very nice, one hit KO. And now Arbok should be similar results. Let's just see, Earthquake on Arbok. Yeah, no question, one hit KO, not even a crit. All right, last but not least, Gengar. Do I outspeed? Earthquake, I outspeed. One hit KO. All right, very easy Agatha fight. Then again, it was easy for Dodrio, too, but I might be out speeding at this point. So let's see. Four store. And now we're going to deal with Lance. Now, am I worried about Lance? Not exactly. He mostly attacks your defense, and Kongaskong has fairly good defense, and she's probably faster than most of them. 
So we're going to use Body Slam on Gyarados. I am faster. Do I get the Paralysis? No, but that was 50%. He gets a Hydro Pump off, and... Good, he didn't crit, but that did a whole bunch. And there we go. Body Slam takes him out. This may be a problem. Dragonair, let's use Earthquake and see how well it works. Uh, about 60%. She uses a Hyper Beam... I survive, but I can't take another move like that. So, Body Slam. I level up, but I don't think it's going to matter. Body Slam this Dragonair, see how much that does. Okay, that's more like 80%. Waste its turn with Agility. Slam, which has low uh, hit chance, so thank goodness. Alright, Aerodactyl, it might be faster. Let's try Rock Slide. It is faster. Bite. I survive. Rock slide. Not quite. Hopefully, take down. All right. Hmm. Gonna have to deal with the Lorelei again. Thing was, I was doing fairly well. It's just Hydro Pump first turn. That was unlucky, especially with my low special. So there's nothing I could really do about that, but. I mean, he hits at random because he doesn't have a move that I'm really weak to, so I just gotta hope next time Gyarados doesn't use that as a starter, but we know the Lorelei fight. We know how it's gonna go, so I'm just gonna deal with it. As long as I don't get an attack lower, I should be good. Thank you. Just gonna fissure the slow bro. It used Growl because of course it did. And I didn't hit any single one of them. I hope... <sighs> This is cruel that they're doing this to me again. At least I hit the Jinx in one, but... Now at this point, yeah. Lapras just has to hit me with a special move and that's all that matters. It's still a big old lottery if I can uh, manage it, because... Well, as you can see here, I didn't even hit any of my five fissures, so... All luck of the draw, kids, but... None we can do at this point. This is how I've decided we're dealing with Slowbro, because he's annoying and he keeps using Growl. We're not a special attacker, so Growl is a death sentence, in fact, so... Uh, as long as we don't... As long as we don't get Aurora Beam drops, or Growl, that's all I care about. Fissure. Did not hit. I got Growl again. Fissure. None of the Fissures are hitting, guys! I'm... <sighs> I... Just from... You'd think I'd at least get one, guys. You'd think I'd at least get one. Because I have nothing else to deal with Slowbro specifically that will be speedy enough to take care of the problem. Because I've got Toxic, sure, but that's that's not the issue. La I need to hit Lapras, and once I'm at Lapras, it's just a good two hits. Also, of course I got Growled again. There. Fissure. There, that hit. Body slam. Body slam. And now I'm just gonna spam Fissure. There we go. I just wanted to get past Lorelei. That's all I wanted. And now we're just gonna give Surf so we can beat up those Onyx really quickly and ride on when we get to the champion. Now, Bruno, as I said, is not a problem. There's literally nothing he can do. It's just as simple as a Surf and Earthquake. He got X to fend off, but not a big deal. Body slam. Another Surf. I am still unharmed. He's not hes not a threat to me. See, he even got Submission off and I survived just fine. So I'm just going to use a full restore and it's Agatha's turn. Now, I'm going to give Agatha her due, but I don't think we really need to keep this slow because... Yeah, not, not much is changing. I mean, that was a crit, but I honestly don't think that mattered. Okay... Old bat, rock slide. Do I get a crit this one? Nope, but body slam should do the rest just fine. There we go. Haunter should be a single earthquake, I want to say. I'm going to get a drink of tea because I'm so not worried. Beautiful. And lastly is going to be Arboka. One earthquake. No crit required. And Gengar, I outspeed, so this should end it. 
Yeah, see, Agatha is not even an issue. I do not have to worry about Agatha at all. Like, I didn't even take any damage, so... Let's see if we can get past Gyarados without the um, Hydro Pump. Let's see. Body Slam. Okay, still doing about half. Leer is perfect. That'll actually give me a bad bo badge boost and make me stronger, so... I mean, I'm going to take more damage from physical moves, but special moves are my main issue. Now, let's see how much Body Slam with the slight boost from uh, Leer does. Not quite a one hit, but missed with Slam anyways. Just use Earthquake to finish it. Now I lost the boost because I leveled up, but nothing we can do about that. Body Slam on this one. Um, Dragon Rage can only do 40, so I mean, nothing wrong with that. Now, can we do Aerodactyl? Okay, let's do Rock Slide again, because that's going to do neutral. Takedown hurts, but none we can do about it. Rock Slide. Ooh, almost. I'm going to use Surf because it's a 100. Missed a Supersonic, thank goodness. I'm going to have at least some decent health for Dragonite. Hopefully Dragonite does like an agility or something. Let's see. Okay, Dragonite, let's use Body Slam. Please get the Paralysis. Nope, but he used Agility. Let's do Rock Slide because he's technically weak. Oh god, please, I took a Leer. Can I survive the Hyper Beam? No. <sighs> and there's really... Mm, actually, there's something I can do. I have TM14. Which, uh... Which should be... Blizzard. There we go. Saving again. Now, why is Blizzard important? Well, obviously you know why. I can use that to replace, um... I can use that to replace Fissure, and that might actually work against the Onyxes as well. We'll have to see, but... Buy a Bubble Beam, and let's just get these rare candies going. And see if this works out, because Blizzard is a very high-powered move, so... I mean, four times weakness with uh, Dragonite, that might insta-KO him, so... That's what I'm banking on. But either way, Rock Slide. At least she didn't lower my attack. He's not lowering my attack either, but I missed a Rock Slide. And this is gonna suck a bit. Fissure, first hit. Body Slam, very nice. Fissure, well, obviously that missed, but it's not too bad. Okay, come on. This is, this is what I'm betting on. I'm betting that Blizzard will do for me for Brock and Lance. And then I'll have a slot open if I need it. We'll have to see. But Lorelei, let's do this, honey. I don't have all day. Just rocks. I missed the first rock side, because of course I did. He got an Aurora Beam. I didn't get an attack lower, though, so I have an 80 health at least. Fissure. Miss. It's not missing now, so thank goodness. Fissure. Hydro Pump. See, I go with Fissure because with that much health, it, it doesn't matter. Um, Body Slam would not have KO'd. So I was banking on Fissure just doing the job for me because if not, I was going to lose if I got hit with any of her moves. I mean, I could have survived Body Slam, but she clearly did not want to use Body Slam. So let's try this one more time. Lorelai, you are such a block and it's annoying me, but what can I do, right? Except get past you. Cloister down. Please just be quick. Of course, he got Growl off now. There you go. I've got one Fissure left right, uh, Lapras. And it hits! So dumb luck strives again. And now I'm gonna teach Blizzard, and hopefully that will do the job that Surf was doing. And, um... There you go. I don't even have to worry about Bruto, but let's see. Uh... Why did I do Earthquake? Blizzard. Blizzard. Blizzard did pretty good against Hitmonchan, to be fair. Body Slam on Hitmonlee. Blizzard on the Onyx. That's one hit. Body Slam. Body Slam. Beautiful. Okay, so Blizzard isn't going to cause any issues, and considering Agatha is definitely consistent, 
I mean, I'm just gonna speed her up because we wanna get through Lance. That's the whole point, right? So let's just Earthquake. No big deal. Rock Slide. Rock Slide. There we go. And it's just gonna be three more Earthquakes. One, two, and three. There we go. Agatha's done. No issues. Alright. So, let's hope Gyarados doesn't screw me. I'm hoping for Dragon Rage more than anything else. So, Body Slam, let's go. Okay, that's about half. Hyper Beam isn't so bad either because my defense is higher. See? Not too bad. Ooh. Well, he has to recharge anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so now, um, let's try Blizzard on the Dragonair and see if that's a one-hit KO. Um, not quite. About the same as what Body Slam was doing, so I'm just gonna keep sticking with Body Slam for these guys. If anything, there's a freeze chance, so I will go to use that on Aerodactyl. Uh, not quite one hit, but that Brahmin Hyper Potion range. Can I get a crit? Or a Paralysis? Um, looks like Paralysis. And she uses Dragon Rage, which isn't bad. That still leaves me 105 HP, so I'm not complaining. Alright, Dragonair is done. Let's see what Aerodactyl does. Alright, Blizzard. They use takedown. Mm, doesn't do much. Blizzard. Not a one-hit KO. Um, I guess body slam because I know it'll hit. Supersonic miss. Thank God. There we go. Body slam did it. Now Dragonite. Will Blizzard one-hit KO you? No, it doesn't. And he uses slam. I survive. Body slam. I'm not going to risk missing. Okay. That's Lance. Uh, now we just have to defeat with Let's Bab, but this is going to be a problem. We'll have to see. I mean, I do okay against Let's Bab, but this fight has really been pushing me, so here's hoping. We're going to have to deal with Pidgeot first and foremost, so. Let's start with Rock Slide. Beautiful. Super dramatic. Uh, 60%. Wing attack is gonna barely do anything. Yeah. So, Rock Slide again. And that's Pidgeot. Hopefully I outspeed Alakazam. That's actually a concern of mine. Okay, Alakazam. Please outspeed. Body slam. I outspeed. One hit, baby. Alright, very good. Okay, let's see here. Right on isn't gonna be too bad. Let's just use Blizzard. If I'm lucky, might get a leer off and increases my stats a little, but if not, like if Blizzard takes him out in one hit, which it doesn't. Mmm, let's do Earthquake. I don't wanna miss. There we go, beautiful. Alright, now we've got Arcanine. I'm just gonna use Earthquake again because, well, he's an Arcanine. Fire types, they do not like getting hit with ground or rocks. Not quite a one-hit KO, but he wasted his turn with Roar and Earthquake has 100% accuracy, so... Yeah, Arcanine is down. I have most of my health, guys. Is this gonna be it? Let's find out. Executor is going to be annoying, however, his defense isn't as good as his special, so Body Slam... Hmm, about 50. He's using Barrage, which is just wasting time. Uh, not quite a two-hit KO, but I did paralyze him. And he still gets his Barrage off again, so there we go. Now Blastoise. Body Slam, how much we doing? 40%. Uses Withdrawal. If I get a crit, it won't matter. Body slam again. Crit! We're done, people! Mama has defeated the Elite Four. Level 63. I think that is better than Dodrio. I would have to double check, but at, that is that is a distinct I'm better than Dodrio feeling. Which is why I'm going to let this go in slow motion. Uh, because I need to actually look at the stat real quick. Because I want to see. Come on. Just get past the league part, man. I'm literally thumbing through the video. 
Okay. And luckily, I'm, I go high speed with the Dodrio, so I should just catch up. Okay, Dodrio beat at level 69. So, we're already doing good on the level. Now, what about the time? Let's find out. Okay. Congratulations, Hall of Fame. Okay. So, how do we compare? Are we going to beat the Dodrio that we already just did? Okay. 63. Six levels lower. Very nice. And... Four hours, 27 minutes. Dodrio, four hours, 49. We have definitely beated, beat uh, Dodrio's time. And you know what my thought on this situation is? They had, very, they had very similar runs. But um, Dodrio did do fairly well once we got past Lorelei. However, we did not have to low over level to get past Lorelei. I mean, we used our rare candies, yes, but we didn't even get into the 60s. Um, Lance was a little bit of an issue because we did not have like agility or anything to increase our stats, but that just is a testament to Kongus Kong's raw power. I didn't need agility. I didn't need sword stance or anything like that. It got a little lucky. I had to use fissure, but I was fast enough to use that. So that was a legitimate strategy. Not very many people can use fissure effectively because a lot of them are slow. So how do I put this? I mean, considering we're looking at a 20 minute difference and a seven level difference, there's no about, doubt about it. I think uh, Kongus Kong is going to take Dodrio's place and be just behind Mr. Mime. I want to say that's the case. I'm not sure where Articuno is off the top of my head, but I want to say those. It, I, I want to say it is Mew, Zapdos, Articuno, Mr. Mime, and then we've got Kongus Kong and Dodrio. Um, that's what I'm going to do as the ranking. I think I'm confident with that. I mean, it is two hours, which Dodrio was two hours and 13 minutes, so even real time, Kongus Kong got Dodrio beat. It wasn't as frustrating. I mean, it was annoying, but not nearly as annoying. So thank you all for joining me, too, guys, for this evening. I hope you have a good evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. I'll see you with the next Pokemon in the next run, and bye for now, guys.